Welcome back to the 30 day Jiu Jitsu mobility challenge. Today, we're going over the long lunge position again. I know we did it two days ago. We're gonna use it as a bit of a prep to move into our working mobility exercise with the 90-90 get ups. And then we're going to finally do some single leg glute bridges. So let's waste no time, come up with me. Start with your left foot forward, right foot back up on your knee, on the instep of your foot, on your back foot or up on your toe with your hand on your front, uh, front foot here. Now you're gonna move and groove into this position. I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining the benefits and, and everything of this, this position. We've done this a few times now in the challenge, particularly if you have been following long every day. If you have, well done, that's awesome and impressive. Hopefully you've seen some uh, mobility advantages so far. Always appreciate uh, people telling me in the comments if this is working for them or their experience with it. Really do appreciate it. Okay, so let's come back, back down onto our elbows. If Again, if you uh, aren't comfortable in this position, you can stay up on your hands, that's totally fine. But if you haven't tried it yet, definitely definitely would encourage you to come down onto your, your elbows here, give this position a go. And I like to do this sneaky little rotation, really like sink into this uh, space here that my, my uh, leg makes and really rotate in. I don't know why, it just really feels good uh, for me, for my, uh, where my body restrictions are. Really like this one, all right. Don't have to spend too much time in the long lunge position today. So we're focusing more in the 90-90. All right, swap over. Right leg forward, left leg back, up on your toe or the instep of your foot. Doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna introduce our right side now to the long lunge. Again, this is using this as a bit of a prep for the 90-90 get ups and the glute, single leg glute bridges that we're gonna do today. This, Sneaky little triplet is a good one to bookmark. Yesterday's session was a bit of a longer one, so see if we can keep this one within the 10 minutes. If you did uh, enjoy yesterday's session, even though it was about 15 minutes, then uh, that's awesome. So come, come down onto your elbows now. Really sink into this position, move and groove. As a reminder, keep your breath volume. I sound like a broken record, I say it every time, but there's a good reason for it. Sometimes you'll find that you'll be unintentionally holding your breath during mobility practice. We wanna make sure we maintain a steady breath volume just to teach our, that's to teach our brain that these positions are safe. And you, you'll actually find that you'll unlock more mobility, more range of motion when you, uh, when you do maintain a nice breath volume because you are teaching your brain that the positions that you're putting yourself in are accessible and they are safe. So long as you can maintain your breath volume, you're good to go. Okay, so as promised, let's come up into that 90-90 position. So it's not to be confused with our modified 90-90 pigeon where we ratchet our foot back. We're just gonna stay in this nice tall 90-90 position, lightly put our hands on the mat and rotate toward the knee that's out in front of you to try and stay as straight in line with your knee as you can. Engage your back knee on the mat, engage your front knee on the mat, and almost like you're hovering off the mat here, keeping light fingertips. Now, in a moment, we're gonna modify this slightly by coming in, and uh, sitting up through and basically taking this mobility movement adding in some more movement in to on top of that and almost a jiu-jitsu skill-based movement here. But I just want you to get acquainted with the position first and foremost, and then we're gonna do 10 reps of 90-90 uh, sit-ups. And this is similar to sitting up on a single leg for a takedown or uh, various different positions in jiu-jitsu, but this is the most common drill that we do is coming up on that single leg from guard, from a, like a seat guard position almost. Okay, now let's go for these 90-90 get-ups. So it's simply driving up, I'm just gonna come back a little bit, make sure I stay in frame. So simply driving up off that front leg and then returning. Driving up and returning. 
This is three. So we're going to go for 10 of these. It's four. It's five. You can even add the, the crab on the single leg if you want. Six, I think. I think I lost count. I usually do. Seven, eight. Try and keep your hands off, but if you need to keep your hand on the mat, help you, that's fine. And one more for 10. Okay. Straight away, we're gonna swap right leg forward now. Left leg back in that 90 position. Orientate ourselves. Remember what we did for the, the other side. We orientate ourselves, gauge your knee on the mat, gauge your front knee, light fingertips, and engage yourself by twisting, rotating, I should say, so that you're in line with your hip direction, with your leg direction on the leg that's forward. Maintain a nice steady breath volume. Should be, work up a little bit of heart rate there for those get ups. Really, I want you to really focus on engaging both your knees, particularly your back knee, into the mat here. Nice and tall, I don't want you bent over. This isn't a modified pigeon. It's a nice and tall movement here. This is the goal. You need to hinge forward to feel more out of this movement, feel free, but I don't want your back rounding here. I want you to stay nice, your core nice engaged, rib cage in and down, nice and tall. All right, in a moment, I'm gonna go back to the get ups, but this time obviously the right side. Feel free to do a couple rounds of these if you prefer, if you're getting the most benefit out of this. You can pause the video, do an additional round, or uh, skip the last exercise and just do more of these if you want. All right, let's go for these get ups. It's one, two, three, four. I'm using the mat here to assist my ankles a little bit wonky still. Spray my ankle a little while ago. So I need to help myself back down, but feel free to do it with hands on the mat if you can. Nearly there. Nine. One more. Ten. Okay, excellent. All right. And then lastly, we're going into our single leg glute bridges. Just a cheeky little ten per side to round us off today. So back flat on the mat. Feet in the, the glute bridge position and I'm gonna come up on to one leg. I'm gonna go with my right side first, left leg just bent here, sort of not dangling in the breeze, but engaged, bent 90 degrees, and push up into a single leg bridge. So that's two, three, squeeze your glutes at the top, four, have your hands on the mat like this if you like, or just resting on your, your chest. Seven, Eight, nine, engage your core, 10. Okay, and swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that little triplet for your jujitsu mobility challenge. Stay tuned for tomorrow's session and I uh, hope you're enjoying.